Mood. What is mood? How are you feeling, isn't it? And what affects your mood? Well, standing in some dog poo is going to bring your mood down. So it's kind of all about down or up. Now we all know the sort of things that can affect our mood. Obviously, breaking up a relationship is going to make you feel down, initially. Doing something you don't want to do is going to make you feel down. Doing something you want to do and then finding out you don't like it, well that's going to make you feel down. And all the opposites that can make you feel up. But haven't we all experienced occasions where nothing has happened but we have a mood change you might just suddenly start feeling good and you don't really know why <laughs> it's actually quite disconcerting and the opposite can also happen does also happen in fact you're never a day away from a mood change and that is a truth. This is something that I've actually discovered and I've been discovering this over the last couple of years and there's nobody else that I've heard of saying this so this is exclusive this is a secret of the universe which is being unveiled so what am I on about? I'm on about there is a mood a mood wave that we are on and what I when I first discovered it I noticed it was monthly there was this monthly mood wave and I was watching it and when it would change and I noticed it would happen when the moon is half but when it's waning, I believe, when it's going. So when it's half going, that is when the change occurs. So insert there a picture of uh, the wave. <clears throat> I then started to notice it wasn't just every month but every couple of days there was this mood change and after a while I also began to notice there was another one a yearly mood change insert picture of wave complicated three waves so whereas you could be going up on your monthly mood wave up on your yearly mood wave you could be going down that particular day but it wouldn't feel as a bigger drop down as if you were going down on your month down on your year and down on your day that is going to be your strongest downwards mood wave. Now, if you're just sitting there and you notice your mood beginning to drop, most of the time you might just ignore it and think, oh well, and get on with something or have something to eat and forget about it. And well, that's fine. But then when you, if you are having a hard time in life and you hit this downwards mood, mood change you're going to want to work out what it's caused by and this can lead to problems because you might blame it on something you might say oh it's because of you know maybe that person because if, if you're getting a mood change and you've just been sitting there doing the same old same old you might blame somebody else because you're wondering how you know you're not doing anything so it must be somebody else and this can obviously cause problems but if you understood yeah this um high noon so my mood is changing now I'll be 
going down or up for the next 24 hours and then it will change. You would just accept it. And that, so what I've found is, is the most helpful thing about knowing about this is then I feel that change, I accept it, I know it's going to how long it's going to last, and I kind of make the adjustment. And, um, and then I'm okay with it. Um, so that actually helps my life. And also, when I know I'm coming up, and instead of what I would probably have done before, is thinking, oh, I must have done something awesome, you know, because now I'm feeling good, so, you know, it must be something I did earlier, and that's making me feel good now. Now I sort of feel coming up, yeah, I'm coming up, okay, you know, I'm coming up, and uh, I know I'm going to have to be going down, make the adjustment. But you, you know, you, you don't mind coming up. Coming up always seems nicer, but it's, it's not really all that. Still, the important things is to avoid standing in dog muck and trying to succeed in whatever it is you do. You know, like making this video and am I succeeding? Well, <laughs> probably not. Okay, just to recap. This is the truth. You're never more than a day away from a mood change. Now, probably the big question that everybody is thinking is why? Why would we have these moods, ups and downs? Why 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 bother with that? You know, why is why has God invented this? Well, there's two parts to this. Now, firstly, I could just think, well, if it was you were just always stagnant and your mood only ever changed when you, you know, stood in dog poo or um, passed an exam, you know, these were the sort of things that affected your mood and the rest of the time was just stagnant. Uh, well, you know, it'd be pretty, pretty plain, wouldn't it? But uh, that's not the reason why, and the why gets pretty deep, as you can imagine. So the why is all about what you are, you know, you're a soul, but you're, you're not a complete soul. You're the left-hand side of the soul, or the right-hand side of the soul. And when we incarnated into these lives, the left part of the soul and the right part of the soul sp effectively split apart and are living two lives. So this one physical being is just one half of the soul. Although the soul is still together on the soul level, you know, that can't be split apart, but the lives are being lived as though they are split apart. And interestingly, enough for me anyway, as I've got to feel my own soul more and noticing my, the other half of my soul there, the, um, the moods, the, the daily, monthly and yearly mood changes are kind of slightly compensated by feeling how my, the other half of my soul is. So I'm going up, while I'm going up, my other half of my soul is going down. So when I'm in tune with my soul and my other half of my soul, it's, it's balanced out. You know, I'm, I'm going up, she's going down. So together, it does cancel each other out. So I think it's, it's a case of having these two halves of the soul go and, as far as they're aware, have experiences away from the other half of the soul. In, in a sense, enacts this sort of wave. It's like... It's like that wave is like the energy field sort of that connects the two halves of the soul together. So that is the why. Daily mood change. The change occurs at high noon. You hit either the top of the wave or the bottom of the wave. You'll probably start to notice it slow down half an hour, 45 minutes before the noon, if you're sensitive to it. 
So it's a gradual change, it's not sudden. So the wave will, as it's coming up, it will start to tail off, hit the peak, go over the top, and then to move into its sort of fastest mode. Okay? Now, once you're two or three hours into the new movement, whether it's up or down, you will start to adjust to it unless you resist it. You'll start to adjust to it, you'll get used to it as the norm, and you'll be okay with it. Although you will be aware that you are going either down or up. So this sits on top of the monthly one, and the monthly crest, or trough, lowest point or highest point, is when the moon is going away, so you've had your full moon, and now a week later it's a half a moon, and that is when you're either at the top or the bottom. And you'll start to notice the change three or four days, maybe even a bit more before that. And again, <clears throat> come to it, you'll slow down, come to the top, go over, and then get into its main movement. And you'll adjust to it, you'll get used to it, whether it's going up or down. And then the year, the year hits its top or its bottom at the September equinox. Equinox. And you'll probably start to feel three or four weeks before then that it starts to tail off and goes over and then come down on the main movement. So we're coming now to March equinox. That's the so it's it's in the yearly moon mood is in its full swing and we will have adjusted to it by now, got used to it. When men are up, women are down. Except for those born in the southern hemisphere. They are on the other way around. So a man in the northern hemisphere is coming up and a man in the southern hemisphere is coming down. A man in the northern hemisphere is coming up, a woman in the northern hemisphere is coming down. Do you get that? That's the way it is. So you've got all the men, you know, say you've got a rugby team, right, of men, and it's a day when they're all coming up, days up, months up, years up, and they're all really happy and into their rugby, right? And then sometime later, say the next year, they're down on the year, they're down on their month, they're down on the day, they're all feeling like shit. Take it out on each other, all that and the rest of it. And for the women it's opposite. So we we see interesting things happen. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot to back this up. Um, like, <laughs> you know, in the film uh, about Troy. The gods can bless you in the morning and curse you in the afternoon. That can happen. So, yeah. Mood. Mood. Moon moods. Daily moods. Yearly moods. A slightly complex wave that we live our lives in.